Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most peaceful name of Jesus Christ. I welcome all of you to this victorious daily devotional in the most peaceful and joyful name of Jesus Christ. Topic for today's devotion, what we need to do when we have loss of faith or when our faith is dwindling amidst severe valley experiences in life. John the Baptist, uh, as we know, started off very powerfully his Christian faith and walked with the Almighty God. It was he who witnessed of Christ and it is he himself who baptized Jesus Christ in the river of Jordan. When Jesus Christ was approaching, he told his disciples, saying, The one who comes is more righteous than me, whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. The one who comes is more righteous than me, whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. Such was his depth of humility. We see very rarely a person praising or esteeming another person higher than himself or herself, which John the Baptist did to Jesus Christ. Well, we can easily, easily identify a true, righteous and God-fearing person. He will always be humble and grounded with reverence to others, esteeming others higher than himself or herself. So was John. He was at the zenith of spirituality and righteousness. But as we know, John was cast into prison in the castle Macarius. It certainly was not a cheerful place to be in. We ought scarcely to be astonished at sudden loss of bright faith he exhibited when he was in good times. Now he says in Matthew 11, 2 and 3, Now when John heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto Jesus, Are thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Good, many people think it is strange that the grand great powerful witness of Christ John the Baptist could have really been in doubt and have questions. It is not possible they say that such great heroic man should ever waver in his confidence but that is always the way we think. We are amazed at every person's blindness or dullness or unbelief but our own we don't. Our people's failures look very large to us but we never see our own at all. We can rarely believe or rather scarcely believe that John the Baptist grew despondent when his trials were so great. Though most of us are plunged into gloom often by the merest trifles and issues of life. Many of us as Christians get despairing over the loss of few pounds or cages or sickness or a little pain than John did in his really great trials as he was awaiting death any moment. The way we respond to our toughest and darkest times, our sweetest temptations, I repeat, the way we respond to our toughest and darkest times, our sweetest temptation that beset us in life is the gauge with which we measure the true spiritual strength of a child of God. Help us, Lord, to depend upon you at all times and to look to you instead of looking at situations or deep valley experiences that surround us. Give us your grace to be steadfast in our faith, even amidst trials and trying situations in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you. Thank you.